Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to increase your FPS in a new Battalion 1944 game. First of all, I'm gonna show you where is the config file. Uh, right now the config file will be in your user, the name of your computer, app data, local, battalion, saved, config, windows, no editor. If you want to see all your settings, you need to open the game user setting. Right now, you need to know this game is in early access. It's not 100% optimized. Also, probably Nvidia and AMD didn't release any like uh, special uh, driver for this game. Normally, they wait until the game launch, a bit like PUBG, uh, Player Unknown, Battleground. So uh, right now, this is the only option that you can change in the game. You have a couple of uh, graphic setting. You got some uh, motion blur, uh, V-Sync resolution, and stuff like that. So we will go inside of the game and I'm going to show you how what you need to change to, to get the best performance right now in the game. So, right now, uh, first of all, resolution is really important. Me, I'm playing 1080p, but a lot of people are playing 720p. Uh, you will gain a lot of FPS with it, so depending on what you're used to and uh, what type of computer do you have. So this one, it's mo mostly like a preference. For sure, if you have a low-end PC, don't play in 1080p. V-Sync, make sure this one is at disable, okay? You don't want input lag when you're playing. FOV, it's more a personal stuff, so don't, like, whatever, just test it. Frame rate cap, me, I'm pulling at 200. Right now, I'm using a 144 Hz screen, so I want my uh, max FPS. For sure, I can lock it at 144 if I want to, because I want to save, I don't know, a little bit of power of my GPU, but honestly, I don't mind, I just put unlimited. It's kind of pain in the ass right now because a lot of people are buying new, uh, all those new gaming screen that uh, can do 240 hertz. So right now the game is limited at 200, but probably they will uh, change that. Texture. Texture is more on um, how many VRAM do you have on your card. So for example, if you just have a one gig VRAM on your video card, for sure lower this um, uh, this parameter because you will probably bottleneck and you will have drop FPS. But uh, this one, you're not. If you have like three or four gig, uh, don't put it at low. Just test like I or even Ultra. Honestly, you will not see a big dip in your FPS. For me right now, the biggest one are foliage and shadow. Just remove completely foliage and the shadow. Just with this Ultra to low, I gain 12 to 15 FPS depending where I, I'm at. Foliage, same thing, almost 12 FPS when I'm removing it. So those ones are very like game breaker. Uh, make sure that you're changing them. Uh, after that, anti-aliasing, this one really important. Uh, I kind of like anti-aliasing because, you know, it makes my game more clear. But uh, you will see for each bracket, you will gain 3 to 4 FPS depending, uh, again, where you are in the map. So this one is really important. Low, I feel the game a little bit too like blurry. It feels weird. So try medium and after that go higher if you just need your 60 FPS. After that, effects and post-process, those are, honestly, this is a competition game, so you don't want, like, crazy effect in the game. I feel like, even at I and Ultra with effect, I don't have any issue to, get, to have my uh, 144 uh, FPS, so that's why I'm staying with them. And they didn't put, like, any crazy effect that, you, you don't, you know, you... you you don't see like the enemy in front of you because I don't know uh, the effect is too huge and a couple of game always doing that they're putting too much stuff in the, in the game too much effects uh, this one you can lower it if you don't have your 60 but I don't feel that it changed your um, the gameplay itself of the game so uh, just tested it and you will have the best uh, choose the best setting for you uh, at the end, resolution quality, this one you can downscale or upscale your resolution. So this is last resort, if uh, you lower your, uh, your resolution and you still don't have your 60 FPS, you can go a little bit lower, but honestly just don't go crazy with that. Uh, you will see uh, your image quality will decrease a lot. Uh, texture streaming, weird, this one is very weird, right now I'm losing FPS on my Nvidia card. So uh, don't touch it for now, I guess they will improve it, but uh, it's not something that's working well for me. And I got some crash problem when I was, uh, when I enabled this one. Uh, the last one is cinematic, it's the motion blur, just disable motion blur. You don't want the motion blur when you play FPS and an FPS, comp comp competitive FPS, 
this uh, effect just remove it you will see some kind of like blur when you move left to right quickly so just remove that one so that's about it guys if you have any question just comment in the YouTube section post me your rig CPU GPU and RAM I will try to help the best that I can right now this is the release 0 0.9 I'll probably probably make more videos because I feel like they will put more option in the uh, graphic settings for the early access launch and that's about it guys peace